Hi there, today we're going to talk about hand position and posture for the bassoon. If you haven't already watched the video on assembly, I highly recommend that you go back and do that. But right now, we're going to assume that you already know how to safely put your instrument together. My instrument's put together, my reed is ready to go, and we'll get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is, we're together, I'm going to make sure that my seat strap is attached. You should have a couple of little holes down here. Um, some of them might be like a little cloth thing that goes over the boot, but I'm just going to attach mine. Maybe. Okay. And so the boot joint is going to come down towards your right thigh. The bell should be up past the left side of your body. You always want the instrument to come to you. I'll give you a couple of different examples of non-examples. So this is not good because obviously my reed's going in my throat. This is not going to be very good for playing. I can't play the instrument. I would have to really hunch over to play and that's not going to be a good thing. If I go too far the other way, now that's going to be playing in my nose. That's also not going to be very effective. So we'll move that down just a little bit. This reed should come right into your mouth. You might need to adjust side to side this way. You might need to move your vocal just a little bit. But for the most part, it should just come right up to your face. Now we're going to zoom into my hands so that you can see exactly where your hands are supposed to go on the instrument. All right, so you're looking from the rear view of my bassoon here. And we're going to talk about the thumbs first. Up here, it looks really intimidating. I know there's a ton of buttons here, but really, let's give you a quick synopsis. These ones are low keys, these ones are high keys, and your thumb's gonna pretty much rest on this key. For right now, I want you to only worry about this key. This is the whisper key. Le left thumb is gonna rest there, just like that. Now, if we look at the bottom side here, again, you got four buttons. I know you're freaking out a little bit. Four buttons for one thumb, right? It's actually, we're only going to worry about that big guy right there, and that's called the pancake key. So my right thumb is going to rest on the pancake key. Now we'll go around to the front side and talk about the other All right, ones. on the upper part of the front side of the instrument, we have three holes here, and some of you are going to have actual keys on some of these buttons, but that's going to work for your left um, three fingers. And I use a fingering system, so you have one, two, three on the left hand, four, five, and six on the right hand. So these three fingers are going to go over those holes. Don't worry about this guy. You might have an extra one there. Don't worry about that one. My pinky is going to rest on these two for now. You're not going to push any of the keys, but just have it sitting there. So that's what my right hand should look like. Okay. Alright, now we'll talk about the lower portion of the instrument. Um, I have, again, I have two holes on mine. You may have a different number. It's, uh, every bassoon is going to be different. So I have two holes and then there's a couple of keys. My pinky is going to rest on one of these three for now. Then the bigger key, the lowest one right there, will be my ring finger, middle, and first finger. Don't worry about anything else. For now, this is going to be our home key. So that's the bottom right hand, and then the thumb will rest on the pancake key. Alright, now that we've talked about the keys and hand placement, I want to encourage you to make sure that you're sitting up straight. Um, one more thing, the instrument, a lot of the weight of the instrument is actually taken care of by the boot and the seat strap, but you are going to balance the instrument right here on that first knuckle closer to the, um, the meaty part of your hand. So a lot of the weight, like I can hold the instrument up to my face with just that part of my hand. Put my hands in place, and then you're ready to go. Okay, so hand placement is going to be really important. If it hurts, you should probably talk to your teacher and make sure that you're doing it right, because it shouldn't be a painful experience. If you have tension, you're not going to play as good as you could. So as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us, and we'll do the best that we can to help you.